Hello, we are live. Yes, soupy dooby. Don't know if anybody will turn up. You'll have to look because I can't see over the top of my um, Kindle, okay? Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, good morning. Are you sure we're live? Well, it says we are. All right, hold the phone. Now it says end broadcast, and we don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> we are live. We are live. We have exciting things. <laughs> well, I think we're exciting. Now then, um, we'll wait until at least one person comes in, <laughs> and I hope that somebody will. <laughs> Well, we're awful bright and early, so you never know. Yep. It feels bright and early, actually, even though it's afternoon for me. It feels really bright and early. <laughs> That's my fault, though. <laughs> it's not Mariah the UK's fault. A message. She is ready, so let's see if she's oh. here. I said we are live, I hope. There is Aunt Mech Creations. Um, there's Arlene Adkinsell and Anne La. In there. Hello, oh, ladies. Hello. Three of my favorite <laughs> ladies are here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it won't let me. Uh, it won't let me oh. comment here. Oh, that's not right. Is and there something I can? Do? Oh, yep. PM Artist Studio. Is there anything I can do? Because I'm not going to be able to look at the chat. I'm not going to be able to see it. No, I can't. I, I, it worked last time. I don't know why it's not working this time, but we'll deal with it. Oh, I, will just, I will just speak like you good, speak. Yes, I will speak. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> yes, doggy. There's a good doggy. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> now, then, let's do something. Now, the first thing I've got to do is the thing that you won't see the result of until the end. And I'll try not to get it too wet so that we've got a good chance of it working. So first thing to do, I'm going to put some Liquitex Super Matte Super Heavy Gel on there. Oh, I thought and I'm using Galeria. What? Did we say Galeria or Liquitex? Uh, I used Galeria first time, but it's it was started seeping away from itself and leaving gaps. Yeah. So I'm going to use the Super Heavy um Liquitex one instead. I mean, this worked. It certainly worked. And I didn't get much staining um, on the jelly plate. And I so want to the, say the, hi to Kylie Koo. Hi, Kylie Koo. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hi, Kylie. I just saw your um, your video yesterday. Ooh. It was it was fascinating. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because it's gloopy. Because um, this is quite an old pot of... Uh, Liquitex, so hmm. I'm just going to pop the last bit on there. The mad scientist is at work. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's sciencing. Well, I did the sciencing yesterday <laughs> just to make sure we're going to have something. Otherwise, I would have said, don't do this, ladies, <laughs> when it failed. <laughs> gloopy. But it yes. Did. yes, Mariah says gloopy. That's our, our word of the day, gloopy. Yes, oh, actually, gloopy. our word of the day is doobry firkin, but don't ask me about it. It's a long story. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Yes, this is not very to separate. This is lovely. Oh, good. I seem to have a, a goober. Well, I don't let know me, where it is. Let me explain while you roll away there, Master. Let me explain yeah. that what everyone was seeing in the middle of the screen there are your previous ink um off the gel plate and pulls, yeah. yes ink pulls from the gel plate and yeah derby derb do brief work and yeah she had to spell it for me and over to the <laughs> bottom right are some impression little impression plates uh that she made yesterday <laughs> using mariah's stencil Gloopy goobers. Yep. Gloopy goobers. Two stencils, two different stencils. And I did loads more. I'll show you those in a bit. I mean, you've seen them because I put them in the group. Yep. So you'll have seen those anyway. They're all the black and white ones, which I hope to use today, but they may not work because I may not have put quite enough loft on the, um, on using the 
stuff, the light and fluffy and the um, what's his stuff called? Uh, Stencil butter, that's the word. Stuff. So if it doesn't work, it's because I didn't do it right. Okay, you're talking in your gel plate. You have to let that dry, that medium, right? You let the medium dry. You let it dry a little bit, but it's not going to take long because it's drying on the, it's drying on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. <laughs> the next stage. I'm at the blue. stage. With yeah. Now this arrived today, so this is a test, but I, I know it's nice stuff. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. This is black ink. This is silver black. Silver black ink that she's splat. Your ha her hand is blocking, but she's actually dropping. Now you can see. Yeah. So I've got black there, which should have some silver in it. And yesterday I did the big inks. I've got some other little inks here, so I might do a little bit of that as well. But the one I, I that turned out really well yesterday was this velvet black copper. Now that kind of took over the whole thing, so I'm not going to use that one today. But I'm going to use this one, which is by the same people that cyan blue copper. I did use that bit yesterday, but um, not much of it. So I want to use that today. Which means it will probably dry a bit quicker, is what Mariah says. Yeah, could be. But what I did was I, I added some water on top. Because to she help it that. Spread out. That I like the steadiness. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff. Now, I could just see. But there we are. I've just got to make sure I shook it up. A dollop of this. A dollop. Now, I have to get fairly high because I want it to move, you see. P's word is a dollop. Oh, yes, we've definitely got dollops. All right. And I want to try a bit of these colors. So something like mango. Give it a bit of a... I do that. I didn't try these yesterday, but I did try the blue sign, so I know that comes off the plate. Mm. The question is, go on. He's so, I know there's another one. I can just see it. Just let me reach over. Oh, there we are. There's one a bit nearer. There we go. I wanted the mango because I wanted a bit of difference in colour. Yes. Oh, my. There we are. That's that one. And I've got other ones I've got here are Burgunda. Oh, Burgundy. Um, I've got Bronze, Caramel, and Pebble Stone. Pebble so Stone Mariah is a great a question. Mariah would like to know what is the goal with this one? Are you mixing it or going for the blippy blops? I'm going for the blippy blops at the moment, but um, I added water yesterday and that spread things around quite a bit. Oh, look, I haven't used this one yet. Or if I have, it's not, of course, I've used it. Yes. It's just the, the lid went back in. I tested everything when I first got these inks a while back. See, I want to meld this a bit. What kind of inks are these? Um, They're drawing inks. These are the octopus drawing inks. The, the two colours, the mango and the caramel. They're octopus. They're meant for pens. Yes, they're meant for uh, fountain pens, to pour in fountain pens. Yep. Or dip pens. Or, yes, no. I was going to say, or in my case, it would be used for one of these. Um... I'm not adding any more because I want, it, I want it to meld a bit, but I don't want it to be so wet. It's not going to be dry enough to do anything with near the end. So let's give it a little drippiness. Ooh. You're awesome. Just to give it some. Sorry. There you go. Wow. Yeah, that's a bit of melding going on. Good. I mean, I'm afraid of adding too much water. <clears throat> that, we'll leave that to one side 
around the corner while we get on with other things. Okay. What? Wait a minute. What? You're pulling a pee. That means I have to sit here and wait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now then, I will show you what happened. I put too much water on the other one, and um, exactly. this is what I. Exactly. But isn't that lovely? That's the um, using the one I've just used, the cyan one, and using the velvet black copper. So the cyan copper and the velvet black copper, which is giving this rich pinky copper here. So I okay. probably won't get okay. my other one. Kylie Koo has a Kylie question. Koo. Oh, yeah. Who's the Echoes lady? I apologize. It just pops in and out. We don't understand it. But Kylie Koo yeah. would like to know the brand, the maker of the black, the velvet black copper ink. The velvet black is um, De Atramentis. De Atramentis. Can you, Can you see that? Here? Over here. We're over here. See where my hand is? <laughs> Pearlescent ink, velvet black. D E A. No. D Atramentis. Yep. D E. So D E. A T R A M E N T I S. Yep, there you go. Mentis. See? So that's the same make as the cyan one, which I've used on the new one, but that's cyan blue copper. Yep. Okay, there you go. That's a nice one. And Becky has a suggestion, and I was going to suggest it anyway. Now that you've shown those inks and the impression plates down below can you move them and so yeah. you can center your work now so we can see your work instead of off to the side there you go well i'm not was going to use that but th this is this is the first pull from yesterday using those inks that's the second pull and that's the third pull so that's pretty pretty decent i thought yeah there you go. Now you uh, right, Even the brayer off was nice. Look at that. That's that's the initial brayer off, and then all the others. But I just thought it was so nice. So I've used some of it already in making the journal cover. Now these, I want to have a go with these because these are slightly more lofted than the others. But you've seen the others because I posted them in the group. Oops, excuse me, camera wibble wobble. These are the ones I posted in the group. So we've got that, that's one of mine. Um, so we've got these two. We've got that lovely, I don't know what those are called, wibbly squares, they might be. And this is the geopoly, Polynesian hold it, geopoly. Hold it towards the camera. Er, for, there you go. There you go. There you, oh, I love that one. Oh. They make a nice effect, just the white on the black gessoed card, don't they? Bye, Eileen. Thank that you. Cool. Oh, bye-bye, Eileen. Thank you. And, oh, no, that's not on mine. Uh, this one, which is a mixture of different P&M stencils, but I also added uh, a cut-off piece of the stencil edge that I thought was too big because I wanted it to fit together with something. It may turn out that I'll need that later, but there we are. So what I did is I cut bits off it and jaggedly cut it and then put it underneath the stencil in various areas to create this missing effect. And I really like that. I'm all for the jagged and the missing and the mappiness. And broken. So, hmm? Broken and fractured. That's what you like. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing, yeah. The fractured sort of stuff, yeah. So those may turn out to be good impression plates. They may turn out to be not lofty enough, but I don't know. We'll see. That's what we're going to have a go with. So are we using some of this because then I can add uh, add to it because I, I don't, don't want to go over that, but I want to add around it. Now, we need the other plate because we've just retired the other one behind in the waiting room. Thank you, Anne. And Kylie Koo says your nails look fab. My what, sis? Your nails. Oh, my nails. Oh, those things. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's just protective camouflage. 
no, while, while she's off there doing whatever she's doing, getting set up, what I'm doing here is I have a eight and a half by 14 inch sheet of painting paper from the gel plate and I'm going to cut it up and I have one. I'm going to cut it up into a an accordion book like this. So I'm holding to do that. So I'm actually doing something today while the master is playing. Hooray! Hooray. I told her off, you see. <laughs> yes, she did. Yeah, she gave me what for. She says, you need to do something, too. I said, I was. I was watching her. So we're just holding this long sheet of paper, and then we'll cut down the center and turn it into a nice accordion book. I'm going to use it. doesn't have to be exact. This has to be GE. Good enough. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Actually, I like it the other way. So, un ta da! And ta da again! Un ta da! Un ta da! Un ta da that! Ooh. I love how painting papers feel. They feel like almost like a thin leather. You get enough paint yes, on there. Yep, uh -huh. there. That's how it it's, it's amazing how how a little layer of paint can make such a difference to the feel of it. And then we go the other way. Right, I'm putting some paint on. Oh, I should put it back to two of us. And I had I had some card some mat board cut to make textured covers, but apparently I measured incorrectly, which is not surprising. That's a little too small. So we have to do it again. But we're gonna fold I'm gonna one. try the impression plates now. Okay, back to happens. you. You sure? You you ready? Yeah. Yes, go right ahead. The the stage is yours, Master. <laughs> All right. What have you done? I've put copper on. That's it. Just copper. Where do I put the copper there? Is there. Hey there, P. Nice to see you, P. My goodness, we've got the family here. Hello. Wow. I don't know how P did it, but I, I applaud her for getting on the internet by herself and watching. And That's amazing. And it's not no, just Wendy, so I'm I'm very nice. Thank you, very nice. But this is pencil butter. My first try. Well, it gives something. It certainly does. I can see some little edges. Probably some fingerprints on there as well somewhere. Right, next one. Can either Patricia or or Mariah say what these um, stencils are called? Because I don't actually know the name. Is it wibbly squares? Wobbly squares. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wibbly and wobbly. Right, let's be quick and put something over the top. Head to mommy. Head to mommy. That's quite all right. That's quite all right, Mariah. You go mommy if you need to. 
Patricia says, he says that metallic is not the best for this technique. It dries too fast. So, hmm. well, <laughs> well, well, maybe I'll get some off with a later pull then. Do I need to leave it to wait or can I pull it now? I can pull it now. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look at that. Keep it so. I know about not the best, but I think that's lovely. I like it. Can you see? <laughs> and there's still stuff down there. So let's have another go. The old one is cubes and squares. The, the green one, that one, cubes and squares? No, I or think that one. Well, those are the two I use, whatever they are. I don't know which one is the gold one. Um, I think I've put some... I think I've put some... I'd try a pearl, maybe. No, maybe not a pearl. If metallic's not great, maybe an ordinary then. Like. Oh, let's try a bit of this. I mean, that goes well with copper, doesn't it? That one's turquoise blue. Now, I used um, my offcuts of uh, the inks and our previous jelly prints to make journal covers. And I've got a journal cover to show you at the end. I have got some retarder, but I haven't done any mixes. Like P, you see. I mean, I've got I've got things I've mixed before, but they're not um, jelly prints. They're not acrylics. They're they're um, texture pastes I made. Oh yeah. Give this one a go. Not all of it. Lovely. That's nice. What else? So these impression plates that I thought weren't going to work because they didn't have enough loft are working pretty good. Yeah, it's working yeah. very good. I think I'll just do another one at the top. Yeah. A bit there. And a little bit. There, there we go. Right, another bit of paper. Actually, I think I'll use the same piece in another corner. I'll try that. I do like this, Baron. It makes quite a difference, you know. It really does. Yes. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Mind the tea. Might have uh, needed to leave that a little bit longer, but that's just missing patience for me. I like where it's overlaid the, the other one. I can push harder. Okay. Perhaps leave it on the plate a bit longer as well. Um, let's try another one. Let me just get mine out of the way, which I wasn't intending to use today. 
did one like that. I want to do the poly. I want to do the poly. So what colour? I think we'll do something darker this time. I quite like this here, Pipal. It's, um, gosh, I can't read it very well. Permanent blue violet. There we are. Permanent blue violet. So your kind of colour violet. <laughs> I'm putting a bit of you on my plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think. You think. <laughs> and, and by the way, Patricia reminded uh, a, a little reminder there. Baron. Baron, yeah. <laughs> well, not yet. I'm just putting the hinky on. Let me get rid of that. That's slightly in my way. She said, "Do a do a bit more pressure and time with the Baron." <laughs> okay. Will do. It's great having the the expert at the other end of the stream. You know, going do it this way. It's lovely. Yeah. If you remember the stream, she says, "Remember, give it a good smack. You can push harder." These are all explicit directions from from. Uh, Mariah and Boo here, so go ahead and smack it. I will smack it. So I'm going to use this corner over there. Oh, I want to put something on first. That I want to do the multi one. I love the multi one. Oh, no, no, no. You have to smack it, dear. <laughs> there we are, smacking. This is just the pressure, the impression plate, you see. I know. That's fine. That's, I like that. Yep. That's you get nice, nice colours on the impression plates, though, don't you? And then if you do use them in, in other things later, I think I'll do that without that piece. That's yes, Karate Chop. You saw that, huh, Mariah? Yes, and... and and now this is card, very light card. Your um, your impression plate at the bottom there. You can move that out of the way and move your gel plate a little closer to your body. There you go. I could just move the camera. There you go. Well, yeah, that too. Hiya! <laughs> Is that hard enough? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not answering that. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Don't tease me. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's coming, it's coming. That's almost cleaned the plate, that one. Oh, that's lovely. Hi, Janet. Yes, wax on, wax off. <laughs> Don't put it down on the jelly plate. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Don't put it down on the jelly plate. Ah. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Don't put it down. <laughs> oh dear. So that's pretty neat. That that's the um, combination oh, plate. Oh, oh, there you go. Hold it up over here. We saw the ink block. Let's see more of the purple. Turn it the other way. There you go. Yeah. Fill that there screen. you go. Oh my gosh, is that gorgeous? I'm is this bit that I'm so happy about because I cut off a piece of the edge of one of the impression, um, one of the stencils. That I felt was too big to the patterns closer together. And then I cut that into a jagged shape and placed it under the stencil in various places to create this missing bit, this sort of missing effect, you see? And I'm so pleased how that worked. It's exactly what I wanted. I like the jagged and the missing and the imperfect. Yep. And so there we go. And the mappiness, exactly, yes. Must have mappiness. 
<laughs> that is good. I've got a big black there. That's not an Amsterdam, though. If you don't use Amsterdams, does it make a really big problem? Because I've got some Pabeo here. This is a transparent one. So I wondered about that. It did have a treatment. bit of a 3D effect, didn't it, Kylie? I, I think that was a, a, a combination of the color and the, the, uh, the impressions in it. Oh and yeah, I've got, I've got, uh, you could probably send you could probably send all your scrap and broken uh, stencils to Fran, and she will make them work. Oh yeah, <laughs> all all the jacketed bits. <laughs> the empty hey, best for transfers, according to Patricia, and that's and uh, seconded by. Oh, for uh, transfers for um um. In, uh, laser print transfers. Yeah. I've never dared try the laser print. <clears throat> the, like the ghost print? Is that what you mean by laser print? The ghost print? Laser print. Oh, laser, laser. Well, it's that British accent. It just blows my ears off. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, well, it's it's taken me this long to figure out Dubri Firkin. So, mm -mm. Are you I sure you figured it out? Well, no, because you may have told me wrong. But it's that other word that you say that I'm still working on. I don't even know how to say it. So, and I don't know what you mean, so I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that again. I like that. You like that one? Yeah, you like that yeah, one. We really, really like that one. <clears throat> the door is always open for everyone to come back. Doors and windows are open. We like people. Come on in. Come on out. You can you can come in through the window. We don't care. <laughs> yes, exactly. We'll put a stool. Well, on put the pool. We'll put a stool. Want a bit of pool. Step in easily. Oh, look at her go. She's just, I it, I may have to to figure out how to cut her off myself. She may go all day. <laughs> Notice that the blue is not spreading as evenly as the purple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do brief Firkin. A name for something that you can't recall yet. You and others know what it is that you want to pass. Used mainly in working situations where two or more people were closely together. I'll be darned. All those years your dad it actually had it an ex of I'll be darned. It wasn't invented by my dad. <laughs> she told me all she knew was that her dad used to say that to her all the time. She didn't know what it was about or anything. All her life, she's never looked it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, luscious. Wow. And look at how well you hold that completely in the Yeah. So Dubri is spelt the way I would have spelt it, but Firkin isn't spelt quite the way I spelt it. No, it isn't. Now I have to redo my lettering. Thingy-majig. That's what she was saying last night. She says, yeah, it's just another word for thingy-majig. And I'm like, yeah, but I like... I like, I like the way it's gone over the, over the copper here. Wow. Don't you? And I really like the way it's gone over the blue. I'm going to do another one down here, see what happens. <laughs> You can, you can get enthusiastic about this stuff, you know. No. <laughs> yes, you can. Or, or, or like Maria says, hootie do. <laughs> I want to try this transparent studio acrylics. Or did I just do that? I, no, I did this one, didn't I? Didn't I? Did I'm sure I did that one. That's a, is that a transparent as well? We shall see. Doesn't say. Let's, Let's try go. this one. Just go for it, Master. Just go for it. Mm -hmm. 
mom used to say. Yeah. My dad used to say things like, oh, we used to have one of those, only it uh, ran down the hill and the wheel came off. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces, yeah, my dad was funny. pieces that overlapping that is how she did the paper for the meandering journal i'm i'm yeah i'm loving that he's inspiring me i'm gonna do a bit more polynesian <clears throat> my mom had a saying i wish i knew what it meant but she would say something like cats to make kittens britches and i and i can't recall in what context she used it but we press it. Mariah says, press it, really press it in there. Okay, well, let's press this one in then. Really smack it in there and, and pull up some of that. Wet so stuff. it's an impression sumper. Mm. I can do a little bit more with this one on the edges. It's never ending. I have to teach you how to smack things. You just don't have a mean bone in your body, do you? <laughs> well, it looks all right to me. <laughs> it's be working. Line it up. Baron. Baron. Come on, old red. <laughs> So oh, I'd not heard about that show. Away with words. What, you want to go for pictures only? Oh, no, I love Ooh. words. That's why I became a transcriptionist. I love words. Oh, I like that. Now, that's a different blue to that. Um, <laughs> that was the Pabeo wow. Studio Acrylics Transparent. And wow. um, it's quite rich. The one that looked darker from Amsterdam, this one, uh -huh. which is this one, is quite a bit lighter. Isn't that interesting? I like that. Lovely. I think I might do another little copper one down here just up, to sort up, of add up. to the We can't see up. it down here. There we go. There you go. Down there. That. That's what I'm thinking, and I want to use that this time. So I want to do some copper. I need to get a bigger copper because there's no way I'm going to be able to restrain myself from using copper. Is there? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, every opportunity. Is there some copper? Oh, do that then. Do that. Yep. I'm pressing, I'm pressing really hard. You can see the camera jigging about, I expect. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Oh, sweet up. And let's have a little bit of that one at the top. Oh, and there's some news about that um, paper I made with the, uh, I'll tell you that in a minute, the paper I made with the, uh, with the gauze. Oh. Tell you about that a minute. Yes. yes, trying to make your own paper. Yeah. 
and it worked beautifully and it does tear but you've got to wait until it's really dry i found mariah says good timing and awesome pressure yep she's getting well that's the thing is is with with doing the gel plate just keep at it keep at it keep playing with it keep learning the pressures and the amount of pain nice oh. i think that's getting a little murky so i won't be putting any more on there but i think that worked out quite nice i could put a bit more copper on there but i think i'll leave it i could do a bit more with that one that's nice and dry now hmm. do something and i've got another couple of sheets there so and i could make an impression plate in front of your very eyes because i've got the um wherewithal that i made ready that's what i used to make those little ones well to make all of them actually but just happens that one came out of there oh yeah it's it my scene? sorry okay. but like Mariah says, you can always come back and use the sprays later because I know she did that on one of the uh, the accordion. What, on the plate? Well, on the paper. Or on the paper afterwards. All oh, right, yeah, but that's what paper. I normally do. But I, I've seen people using sprays on the plates as well, you know. Like here, on my paper, I've got around the edge here, I've got a few spots that I missed, and I know that I can come back in with sprays and fill that in if I want. Uh huh. See, so if oh, I or you can go over the edges with a um an ink pad. Sure, if it worked, if well, and I thought of that, but I don't have one that I feel would go well with the uh. Why yeah. I'm blurry. I'm blurry, but anyway, um, no, but I do have some sprays that I know will will fill this in nicely and blend in with what's already there. Mm hmm. Use an op. What is that? The black paper. The black paper is just um, um. The mouth will work. Just give me a minute. The mouth will work. Um, it's just cardboard that she painted. She gessoed black. And yes, you could you could take it off me now. For for some reason, I'm quite blurry. Yeah, why are you blurry? I don't bring know. your bring something up to the camera and then very slowly take it down again. That's what Pia, uh, what the Mariah yeah, always says. Got white on my desk. That's why. So ta-da, magic. So I'm not blurry now, but yeah. yes, you can put it back on you. Um, Mariah was asking about the black paper. That's just your uh, um, some generic cardboard you found and you gessoed it black. This, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just um, it's Amazon packaging. You know the um, envelopes you get things in, the cardboard yeah. envelopes. That's all it is. I just gessoed it both sides and ping, there you go. Oh, I did um, put glue on two pieces and put the two together. Yes, you made it thicker, so yeah. Yeah. Just what she had laying around. Yep. For impression plates, working very well. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought only the last two were going to work, but they were all working. That really impressed me, that did. So, let's try another, another um, uh, metallic. What have I not tried? Well, I've got a graphite here. I've not tried that. It's a dark color. So we'll try a little bit of that just to be experimental. After all, we are the mad scientists. It would be a shame not to live up, live up to the name. Here we go. Watch me ruin everything. Whee! Now, that looks quite transparent to me. I 
I'm finding that I'm liking this plate more than any other. I mean, I do still absolutely adore this one, and I didn't make one with my favourite stencil. Oh! I'm such a nitwit. I should have made one with my favourite stencil. And we know what that is, don't we? I just showed it. Yes. That one. Yep. Thank you, Janice. I'm so glad you came. You stopped by to watch. Um, yeah, come back. We're going to try to do more of these. You go have a good work day. I hope you don't work too hard. Take care. Bye. Glad you could come. What is the brand of metallics you are using? Amsterdam. They're all Amsterdam. Yep. I mean, I've, I've used some uh, Pabea in one of the other ones. That was that blue. <coughs> this, and I, this and one. I wanted, to, I wanted nice. to brag because I'm, I have been just awed the last few days. This, this is a gift. I don't know if you can see my camera. This is a gift that was sent to me, and I'm still going to start crying, thinking about it, from a very precious lady for no reason sent me this gift the other day surprised me greatly um aunt beck creation she was just here and I, and I watch her lives her streams all the time and out of nowhere just because she sent me a gift of 24 small tubes of amsterdam paints and i'm just hugging it my precious my you're precious. gonna have so much fun with those <laughs> So, yes, when my table gets cleared again, um, I'm back to the gel plate using these. And I know, I, I know, Mariah, I was just, I'm, I just want to cry thinking about it when I get goodies like this. It's just a lovely, lovely, thoughtful gift from Aunt Beck Creations. Just, I get overwhelmed. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, so I'm going to do pull this one now. So I'll put back to me just while I pull this. This is just graphite. I like oh. that. That came out nice, didn't it? Oh, that came That's out. Of Metallics graphite. I don't suppose you can see it because I can barely see it myself. Mm. Okay, enough of that. I want to see more of the picture. Yeah. Look at sorry. I love the areas where it didn't where it ah oh. look at that. I like the, the sort of edging around it, the, the edgy sort of shadow almost. Okay. Isn't that nice? I do like that. And I like the way this one sort of got almost a halo effect. That's lovely. Isn't it? Do it you again. You see that halo? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Well, let's let's do a different color now. Now I've oh, been using oh, the. Oh. <laughs> well, well yes. I wanted to add a bit of the gold. See what that comes out like. This is deep gold. Same okay. set, all well, from this metallic set. I've also I got to know the exact. What was that graphite? Yeah, Mariah's ordering. It's um, now <laughs> <laughs> it's the amsterdam metallics and it comes in a set like this of one two three four five six and that's the gold that was the graphite i just used and there's a this one is silver and this one here is light gold so i could use light gold let's try the light gold that would be interesting Okay. I've not used a light gold. Let's try that. Let's see what yes. happens. Yes, this is exactly why the impression plates are so often. Look what it, it, it does. It enhances. You don't get just a layer of paint. You get. You get it care. depends on how the. It, I think it partially depends on how the impression plate was done. I mean, when you're using a lot of stencil butter. To create like this one made was made with stencil butter, all the light and fluffy. The other one, that one, 
when I made these two, I deliberately tried to get as much height as I could. So I put it on really quite thick because I was afraid that none of these were going to work. And of course, they all worked. So that was fine. <laughs> but these I put um, a lot on. So you can, when I lifted it off, it made little ridges around the edges. And I think that might make some nice patterns and has been. And Anne would like you to explain what M pression not compression impression plate is it's um well i'll let i'll let frank, frank an, explain it i'd say it's just because oh, I, I don't know because i mean that was um that the, the term was created by patricia and mariah but i would expect it to be because it makes an impression of what you put on the plate so that you get that impression when you pull the um when you lift the pull so in my maybe mind it's kind of like it's it's kind of like works like a rubber stamp works on if you you know inked a rubber stamp and then yeah. pressed it down it's making it's making a, a that's what i thought immediately i saw it it's making a stamp from a stencil when you i mean stamp to create decent st uh, stamps is very expensive because you've got to get one of those rubber machine things to get the good quality and um yeah, it's it's got to be pricey. So I, when I saw this, I thought, oh, I could make a an impression plate of my stencil because um, I made my own stencils as well, you see. And um, I made a big one and a little one. See, just by reducing it in the silhouette because I could just about afford a silhouette, but I couldn't afford one of those big... Yes, it lifts some rubber, of the... Yeah, those rubber yes, that's the other thing. How do you make one? Oh, Anne. Oh, my God. Well, I'll show you. I'll yeah. show you in just when I've done this pull. She's having, I'll show you that. Now you've, stuff done, ready. now you've done it, Anne. Oh, my gosh. Now you've done it. She's been having so much fun with the gel plate, but we did intend to make impression plates, so I'm glad you asked. Right. I'm just going to make this last pull, <laughs> and then we'll make one. Of course, you've got to wait for them to dry because it's just like making using texture paste. You see, Baron. you just—it's just texture. Sorry, nothing, nothing. I didn't say nothing. Mm. You're saying Baron, aren't you? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just trying to make sure nothing was impinging on what I'm trying to do, which of course things are because I have the messiest desk in the world. Right, let's pull that light gold, light gold. Let's see. Ooh, it's almost a cream, but there's a, a sheen. I like that. And I've got some of the mappiness. Look, I've got mappiness. <laughs> I, I agree, oh. Kylie. It's... I think you probably do, Patricia, because I couldn't have learned it anywhere else. <laughs> right. Exactly. But I will show you how to do it. Now that's that's fine. I'll just nothing there. Okay, let's let's put that away for a minute, just for long enough to do an impression plate. <laughs> okay. So we'll pick happiness for mappiness. <laughs> yes. Happiness is mappiness, yeah. And then that, that I remember. Uh, <coughs> sorry. I remember Patricia pulling almost the last one of a stream and going, oh, and it, when it came up with mappiness, because she wanted perfection. And I was going, oh, it's wonderful. It's great. <laughs> she was yelling, send it to me. Don't throw it away. Send it to me. <laughs> <coughs> So, black card, all it is, 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 you can see it's brown under there, and I've stuck it together. See? It's just Amazon packaging. You know, you get those cardboard envelopes, <clears throat> and something arrives in your, on your doorstep. Just looking around to see if I've got one over there that hasn't been painted. <laughs> Not many that haven't been painted. Was well, she glued two, two pieces together? to make it sturdier 
And then she gessoed it with the black gesso. Like these. You know, there's an Amazon packaging and you get your stuff inside. And all I did was I, I put glue inside, dribbled it down. Just ordinary PBA from the uh, DIY shop. And uh, then I snipped this bit off here. And then I painted it black on one side and black on the other side with Bob Ross black jessup. But anything would do. Anything. Yeah. <coughs> Upcycled. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Talk about yourself for a second. Talk, oh, okay, we get to talk about <laughs> and 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 what she will do is she will pull a stencil that she wants to use, and she'll create an uh, an impression using a product. Hold on, she'll be back, and I'll let her explain more. <laughs> and you can look at you can go to PM Artist Studio. They have a plethora <laughs> of of wonderful videos that <laughs> and I have learned from just you can't you can't you want to just get inside Patricia's brain and go where did you get all that knowledge and point me in the right direction <laughs> exactly she just puts it all together so nicely so I didn't make one of this so let's make one of this and this so is the cell the Cell membrane stencil from PM Artist Studio. Well, it's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite from PM Artist Studio. I don't know why. I don't know idea why it's such a beloved thing. Of course, now I cut by my scissors, which I had just a moment ago. I'll have to get another pair. Another pair of scissors. Of course, once I've found another pair of scissors, I'll find the other one, won't I? Typical. There we go. Pair of scissors. It's always a good idea to have about six of something lying about so that when you lose one, you can find another. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry about the coughing ladies. I cannot help it. Nobody seems to know what it is. They call it acid reflux and just leave you to it. So I'm going to use the light and fluffy. And I want to and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in here and I don't know if anyone can see it, but this is the link to wow, that's a long link. That's not what I want at all. Well I'll tell you what, we can put a link in the description afterwards. Yes. Yes. You could send it to me that. and then I'll know which one you're on about. Yeah, we've talked about that. Um There we go. I've got it. I'm using more. I'm using more of this than I would if I was doing a, just doing a stencil for texture. I don't think that's showing up. For some reason, my ability to, to type in comments is not coming up this time. Yeah, I don't understand why. Yeah. <coughs> is there a way to make you a moderator or something? You're in StreamYard. I have no idea how it works. That's at your no. end. And I'm not the techie one. Can anyone see that uh, link that I posted? I, I think not. No. Nope. Oh, goodness. But don't worry. Oh. We can put it in the comments afterwards. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a link to... to in the description. Specifically, put it in the this video that I want to point you to, um, 
Anne, I don't know if you can, I want to get back if Anne is still here. She's using, um, Frankie is using light and fluffy. That's um, the crafter's workshop, light and fluffy. That's from the crafter's workshop, light and fluffy to create a loft so that when yeah. she pulls the stencil, there'll still be a bit of height to the. But um, it works with stencil butter as well. Yes, and stencil butter works. And this is what uh, Patricia was using. So I'm just copying the master. So there we are. There we've got that. I will lift this up. Like that. Oh. And the first thing I'll do is, clean your stencil. is remove the bits from here that I don't want. Yep, we talked about that. Yep. Yes, it is. It's, okay, a, it's, you, but I find it easier. it's a Oh, and I have to tell you, I have some of this. It's a it is a luscious texture paste. It's just don't use it fluffy. correctly like I did. Use it correctly like like Frankie's using. Am I doing it correctly? <laughs> oh, you are. I I uh I don't know where my br my brain was mush the other day and i just uh put it directly on my gel plate at uh -huh. and um and then you asked me and i said i don't think that's a good idea <laughs> and i asked mariah too and she said oh no don't do that and i went oh yeah now you tell me see um, <laughs> there you go you were out of frame a little bit um yeah, i was cleaning that so there, yeah. that that's what we've got I've got to clean the stencil, and I do it like this. Yeah, I I agree, P. I think it's um I it it costs a lot less than um. But you could do it with texture paste. Impasto. I wanted I the impasto's on my list though. Now that I have the Amsterdam paints. She'll get back in. I train. reckon. And hold hold the phone. And and we talked about this. When you do this, you also get the bits that are still left on your. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't you... want to. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's colored. I mean, who cares? It's only oh. going to make an impression later. Be covered with paint or something if I'm using it as texture. Okay. Now now. Right. So, so now I put that in water immediately. Yep. I didn't want it to get dry on there because that would ruin my favorite stencil. So there we are. So that's got a fair bit of loft. Can you see how much loft that's got? There you that's go. That's quite a lot. Good job. So that's going to make a lovely impression plate, that one. But go and look at Patricia because she does it with everything. I mean, this one was made with stencil butter, so you can use either. And I suspect you could probably use any other kind of texture paste, but of course it needs to be a smooth one. If you use something like um, B gel, uh, probably wouldn't work as well as an impression plate, you know. So that must go away somewhere safe to dry. Okay. And Mariah, don't worry, my my gel plate cleaned up really nicely very well it was not an issue i used a couple baby wipes and everything came up with a little elbow grease so my uh gel plate is just fine so but i won't do that again uh how are we doing for time how we are one hour three minutes in so it's all up to you i think i should put the paper on there you ready because it's, it's drying but it's it's not completely dry, and then we got to leave it again to dry, and I might have to pull it and show you another time. So I'm going, to use, I'm going to use some tissue for this. I have a nice big sheet ready. I won't need the whole sheet, but I'll just do the corner. You, uh, this is the wet strength tissue, so I'm, it, you can feel the two sides. One side is sort of soft and furry. The other side is slick. You want to put the slick side down. Now I might or might not get a print from this. I got a smoogy woogy one, and I found oh. that the second one was better. 
So I will just pull that off because I'm getting the excess out of the way. And these are inks. These are the these are fountain inks. pen inks specifically, not alcohol inks, not acrylic inks. That's these are inks that you would put in a fountain pen. That's oh, quite yes. nice. You'll love it, Anne. Drippy. I like the way you get the sort of streaks as you lift. I like that. Now, what I will do is I will put, I will cut that out because I want to put another one down. Don't know what I've done with my proper scissors. These are terrible oh, scissors. I'm to interrupt you. You know when you were scraping the uh, um, the light and fluffy off your mat there. Yes. Uh, Mariah says you can scrape those up, especially if you get the bits in it. And if you have a brayer off paper, put it on there, wipe it on there. And she says you get some really loverliness. I like that word, lovery, loveryliness, loveryliness. Hmm. Really, loveryliness. So I'm going to put this on top and oh, leave it. Oh, yeah. to, away to do that, and I'm going to cut another sheet to go on top so I can leave it for a while. And then what I did with the other one, when I pulled the second pull, the first pull was that sort of seahorse shape. And the seahorse shape, seahorse shape. What do I do with the seahorse shape? Ann Lover is here. Hi, Ann. Two Anns again. Um, that was the first I, pull. I wanted that, to show you, was, I have Higgins Eternal Black Ink. That's the only ink I have, and I use it with my calligraphy pen. And I learned that from watching Patricia up there from PM Artist Studio. Okay, I'm sorry. Frank. I'm going to have a go on that sort of thing with uh, with this um, uh, velvet black copper ink. I would have a go with that. But that's the first pull, the one that was still blobby. And then what I did was I put another sheet down again. And this time... I braided it on and left it. Mm. Probably going to get some. I thought I might. It's coming through the tissue. Yes, it's coming through. Yep. So See, I, I am going to. I barren right. this time, so don't look at me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my fault. But it's all right. <laughs> tissue. Spit and polish. Spit and polish. Fine. Yeah, that'll do it. So I will take this and deliberately put it on a piece of cardboard because I had a terrible job trying to get it on a cardboard. That's why the other one was all sort of squig squiggly and fun. So whether we'll get any silver from this silver black ink, I don't know. Uh, I, maybe I should have shaken it first. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, dear. So that will go away to ripen. And what are you up to now, Violet? I'm watching you. I am watching you uh -huh. and, and trying to. I have one more thing day. to show. I've just one more thing to show. And that's what happened when I used these things the previous jelly plates, uh, the pulls, and the uh, painted papers I had to create. A journal cover. Um, do you want to see it? Yeah. I need to. I need to move in with you it's so cool. that you could stay on screen and and be doing things while I'm off to the side washing stencils and and uh, grabbing other products. Oh, is that lovely? What like that? <laughs> No, you, you, are, you, are. you don't need me me on screen. You need me there in your the room with you. Oh, I see. Well, I'll beg your pardon. <laughs> I'll get I'll get a plane ticket. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is the journal cover I made using both the paper I made from the the wet strength tissue and a layer of gauze in between two sheets. Folded over, one sheet folded over, two sheets. And uh, 
I deliberately made holes in the gauze. So I went back once it was dry and pushed the end of a pencil or a pair of scissors or something through where those holes were and remade them. As you could hold it up to the light and see where the holes were. And then I sprayed that piece, which is this. Okay, with, back uh, into the center. Sorry. There you with, go. Sorry. There you go. Yep. I sprayed this piece with two of Seth Aptus Isink sprays, uh, copper and sorry, tea and coffee. The tea is on the top, coffee was underneath because I wanted it very slightly darker. And um, this is the paper I used the creation of. I got that sergeant watercolor, which was washable, and I added some gum Arabic to it because it was flaking off. So when I added the gum Arabic and then painted it over some of the jelly prints I did with PM's stencils, you can see bits of the. Um, sorry, you can see bits of the. Little bits of the. Uh, cell membrane one and there's other ones underneath here well, there's quite a have, bit of it we have some comments. let me let me catch you up on comments we have oh my goodness wow wow i love it that is just wonderful that is so beautiful you should post that in seth's group nice that worked really well i love this and so i, I used um, so i sprayed through a stencil and that's what i got uh that's the um I don't know what that one's called. It's sort of like, um, almost like gears, but isn't. Sort of circles in circles. It's a, a PM Artist Studio one. And then I got uh, soaked up the excess with that one, that piece. And then uh, just various other colors on, on bits, really, the other one. This is part of that first pull from the... Artie Squiggles. Artie Sorry, Squiggles. this is part of that. Artie Squiggles, that's the one. Uh, this is part of the part of the first pull of the ink on my first test yesterday. Well, I loved it so much. I've used a couple of pieces of it. It really came out rather well. And um, that's really it, except I used the cell membrane to put some of what uh, Finnebear call brass. I think it was Finnebear. Here we go. Finnebear. Yeah, lovely. They call it brass, but to me, that's copper. <laughs> so I used the copper paste through the cell membrane in a couple of random sort of little bits of it way, and then immediately rushed out to the sink and washed my favorite stencil. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love how that has come out because that there you are, there's there's my journal cover. And looks I was like thinking of using yes, a little bit of it bra. Like dragon scales. It does look like gra yes, dragon yeah. scales. Beautiful collage work. And I was going to uh, put some of that brass with a little bit of that on the mat, mix it through, and then put it through the stencil as well because I wanted a sort of verdigris-ish effect and then maybe a bit of just the turquoise on its own to just trying it out to see if it would work i'll do that next time but there we are um that's that's what i've been doing so lovely lovely i could uh, you can also use i used um gel medium i think i used on this yep but you took it away we can't see it sorry the um <sighs> My lovely journal cover just fell in the water. <clears throat> no. This, I, <laughs> it'll be all right. It's all right. <laughs> we'll see what plunging it into a bath of water does to it. Oh. Nothing but experiments here. <laughs> and I've got another one to do. So I've got another one here to do. Oh. Not a problem. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm calm. So I'm this. Calm. Ah, this I used gel medium on here, I think, gloss gel medium, and it was just my stencil that I made ages ago, the, uh, the small version of this. And um, I just then sprayed it with the Seth Apta spray, so I've got some tea, some coffee, and the turquoise. That's really it. And I like the way in places it's gone underneath, and in other places it hasn't. 
So you've still got the white of the paper underneath. I really like that effect. You could do that with that um, Polynesian Geopoly one. That would be really nice like that. <clears throat> and using that um, multi one I made. I reckon that would work quite well. Lovely. She does lovely mark making using all the stencils. She really does. Ann Lyre, if you're still here, that's the series that just blew my mind. The mark making series over at PM Artist Studio. Just, I, I can't watch them often enough. There's so much to learn. I reckon doing something like this with those stencils, PM stencils, and using the gel, <clears throat> gloss gel, and then spraying over the top was going to give you a lovely effect. That's what I reckon, anyway. <clears throat> is there anything else you want to show? Even sound is touching. No. Nope. Um, um, Patricia says she would like a paper copy of your combo stencil. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it, a paper it's... copy of the combo stencil. Okay. Well, I can do your own impression plate. <laughs> you know, do, do, do an impression pr print and then pull one off. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you want left on the on the screen when we sign off, and and I think it yeah. would be all of that. That didn't work last time. I had to go and upload a. I had to go and upload something. Oh, I don't really want that. That's just You're mine. welcome, Anne. Um, it's just inspiring to be over there and and learning so much about gel plating and texturing and and. I, I can't even begin to tell you what's in Patricia's head. He has to wear a hat for every every video because if she doesn't, things will leak out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that yeah. I was going to say it will stop the ideas from leaking out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think so. I think that's why she wears a hat every every stream to keep it all contained and, and available for us. Hello, Crafting with Miss Kristen. So that's so, rather look at it. These are rather nice with just the color on them, aren't they? I mean, you could put that on your journal, no problem. Couldn't you? Lovely. And this one. That's a rock star that you both are. You both are. Bye, Anne. Thank you. That's about right, isn't it? So you've got a sort of conglomeration. It's not going to work. It didn't last time. They just used the um, image from my um, my front page. There you go. That's so that would, now, be the end of my that would be that would be us saying, "Have a wonderful day." Thank you so much for coming and and inspiring us and encouraging us and and bearing with us as we learn this. Mariah says she I mean, loves it's only, it's only a little bit drippy. It's only a little bit drippy. It'll dry out. It'll, It'll be, be fine. Yeah. You have the fireplace. It'll dry out. Well, I'll just put it. Oh, there's a table in front of the radiator. I'll just put it on the edge where the radiator pokes through, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Goodbye, okay. Mariah. Bye, bye, bye Kylie Poo. Bye, bye P. Bye. Dab at it. Bye. Let's bye. both say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there we go.